Hey guys, AMK here, just making a follow-up video to the last one. The last video was on how to stream video over your network through VLC. A lot of people wanted to know how to stream over the internet, so I'm making this video here. The only catch is the process is basically the exact same as the last video, except this time we have to do a few extra steps to enable port forwarding to your server from the internet. So in order to prevent redundancy, so I don't have two of the same video, I'm going to do this video in Windows instead of Linux. So this tutorial is going to be in two parts. Part one is going to be how to get streaming up and running locally on Windows. To see the Linux version of part one, check out the last video. I'll put a little button right here. The second part will be on how to enable your computer to stream over the World Wide Web. Let's get started. First you need to download and install VLC. The link is in the description below. Then you open up VLC. I'm going to go to media and then streaming. Here there you have a few options depending on what you want to stream. If you want to stream a DVD or CD that's in your computer, use this tab. If you want to stream something off your network to the internet or from the internet or whatever, use this tab. If you have a capture card or TV tuner that you want to stream, or if you want to stream let's say your desktop, use this tab. We're going to stream a video file, so I'm going to come here, I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to select my file. Now I'm going to click on stream. Click next, select HTTP here, then click on add. Now pick a random port to stream on. You need some random number. Any number will do as long as you can remember it and it's not being used by anything else. I'm going to use 11341. Now you can transcode your stream. For example, the file I want to stream is a WMV. But let's say if I want to stream to my iPod, which uh, if you want a tutorial on how to do that, leave a comment below and uh, I'll make one. But let's say I want to stream to my iPod. And iPods only accept MP4 streams because iPods are made by Apple and Apple is owned by Steve Jobs, who is a Nazi. So I'm going to click on Activate Transcoding and select an MP4 codec. That way my stream will be an MP4, even though the video or the file or the whatever I'm streaming is not an MP4. Uh, now I'm going to click on Stream. So we're almost done setting up our server. Um, we just need to set up this. We just need the server's local IP. This is the IP that was assigned to the server by your router to be used locally within your own network. To do this, hold down the Windows button and hit R this little window is going to pop up. Now you need to type in CMD and hit enter. Now type in IP config C O N F I G and hit enter. This will list your network devices. You need to find your IP address, your local IP address. Mine is up here, 192.168.0.199. Okay, now you need to go to another computer on your network. Let's pretend we're on another computer on my network right now. On that computer, open up VLC and then click on Open Network Stream. Then you need to type in HTTP colon slash slash the IP of your server, which for me it was 192.168.0.199. Did I put a space right there? Okay. And then colon and then the port that you picked earlier. We picked 11341. And then click on play. And it should play your stream. Mine might not play because I had like a 30 second file and I didn't enable looping. But yeah, you should get a stream here. Um, here, let me fix mine real quick so you can see. Okay, right here, open network stream. I have to type it in again. I uh, actually changed my port to 342. And there we go. Okay, I fixed mine. Now it's streaming. Um, there's a little bug in VLC. If, um, if, if the streaming doesn't work, close out all of your VLCs and then do this again, except stream to a different port. Um, and then it should work. It's like you can't reuse ports or something after you're, you've already streamed on it and some bug but it's fine now. Um, Alright, so we now have streaming set up locally. Now you can go to part two and I'll show you how to port forward and stuff so you can stream over the internet.